Today, we're going to take a first look at the Red Wallet, which just debuted in alpha form. An alpha release of software is intended for initial evaluation and testing by early adopters and reviewers. The feature set isn't frozen, and known issues or limitations may exist, but it's enough to give people a taste of things to come and something they can use as a basis for feature requests or suggestions. We have a lot already planned for the Red Wallet, and the alpha release is proof that the key features work. We can talk to the Ledger Nano hardware and also to the Ethereum blockchain. It doesn't matter how fancy the user interface is if those things don't work. So that's where we started. In order to use the Red Wallet, you need a Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. A hardware wallet, sometimes called a key, is the best way to protect your crypto assets. We know not everyone has one, and they can be expensive, but they are the best way to secure your assets. Even if you don't have a Ledger Nano S today, you can still watch this video to see how the software and hardware work together to protect your assets and make it easy to transfer them to others. Basically, the Red Wallet is a user interface to both the blockchain and the hardware wallet. The Red Wallet never stores your crypto assets and can never see your private keys. It shows what assets you have available by reading from the blockchain, lets you say where to send some of those assets, asks the ledger to sign the transaction, and sends that signed transaction to the blockchain. Let's get started. The first thing to do is start the Red Wallet. If your Ledger Nano isn't connected, you won't be able to do anything until you connect it. The wallet will say, no device. Plug in your Ledger Nano and enter your PIN code. You need to turn off browser support on the ledger. If you forget, the wallet will remind you. The Red Wallet app won't work with your Ledger Nano if browser support is turned on. If you're used to using My Ether Wallet or My Crypto with your ledger in the browser, you probably have browser support turned on and will need to turn it off before you use the Red Wallet. In a few seconds, you should see a list of addresses as the Red Wallet interrogates your Ledger Nano. At the top of the wallet, you can select whether to work with ETH or RED tokens. You can also select what network to connect to. Start by testing on the Rinkeby test network. Remember, if you use the main net, you'll be making real transfers. The main area of the wallet shows the address and the balance in ETH or RED tokens for each address. You can use the Page drop-down and the Previous and More button in the lower right corner of the wallet to switch between groups of five addresses from the Ledger Nano. The Reload button refreshes the list of addresses and their balances. When you select an address in the list, the Send button will be enabled. When you click Send, you get a dialog where you can enter the destination address, the amount to send, and the gas parameters. We won't explain gas in detail in this tutorial because you can find many explanations of that on the internet. You can type or paste in the destination address, but nobody really wants to type those long cryptographic hashes. Pasting is much easier. But crypto hackers target the clipboard on systems because they know that everybody's going to enter addresses that way. Always check your addresses. Close the dialog without clicking Sign, so you're back on the main wallet screen. Click on the second address in the list, and then right-click on it. That will give you a context menu with one option, to copy the address. Now click the first address in the list again, assuming you have some ETH or RED tokens in that address, and then click Send. Now you can right-click in the Destination Address field and select Paste from the context menu. Move the Send dialog so you can confirm that the address in the Destination Address field matches the address you copied from the first screen in the wallet. Enter a small amount in the Amount to Send field and click Sign. After you click Sign, the wallet will tell you to look at your ledger. The Ledger Nano will show you the amount being transferred and the address you're sending it to. 
click the right button on your ledger to confirm the transaction. The ledger is what signs the transaction. Your private keys are safe inside the ledger at all times. The red wallet can never see or access them. Once you've confirmed the transaction on your ledger, you'll get a Confirm Transaction dialog from the wallet. It will show you the transaction details. If you're sure you want to go through with it, click Send. The Confirm Transaction dialog will close, and your browser will open to the Etherscan Block Explorer, showing the transaction information and that it's pending. This way you can see exactly what is happening on the actual blockchain using the network you selected. For example, if you selected the Rinkeby test network, your browser should open to rinkeby.etherscan.io to the transaction that was generated. After a short time, you should see the transaction receipt status change to success. That means your transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain. Congratulations! When you go back to the main red wallet screen, you should see that the address you sent to now has the small amount you sent. You should also see that the address you sent from has a slightly smaller amount than what you might expect. That's because of the transaction fee and gas used. You can see that was paid from the sending address, so the address you are sending to gets the full amount that you sent. If you've never used a software wallet before, we hope you've learned a little bit about how they work. If you've used others, you can see that the red wallet, while still alpha, provides similar functionality. What makes the red wallet different is that it runs on your desktop, not in the browser. Other web stack wallets are starting to do this, but they basically embed an entire web browser inside the application to do so. That means they are hundreds of megabytes in size and use more system resources when running. The red wallet is smaller than most web pages today, weighing in at around a megabyte. The small size is not only lighter on your system, but provides a much smaller surface area for attackers to target. What makes the red wallet different is that it runs on your desktop, not in the browser. Other web stack wallets are starting to do this, but they basically embed an entire web browser inside the application to do so. That means they are hundreds of megabytes in size and use more system resources when running. The red wallet is smaller than most web pages today, weighing in at around a megabyte. The small size is not only lighter on your system, but provides a much smaller surface area for attackers to target. We have more features to add, but this sneak preview shows that the core functionality is in place today. Stay tuned for updates. You can find us on Telegram and follow developer and technical chat on Gitter. Thanks for watching.